Hello everyone. I have been getting a lot of responses from you guys uh, regarding the appearance of my theme and the styling of my theme. So in this video, we'll be talking about one of the best obsidian theme you can use and how you can customize it to make it purely yours. And we'll also talk about some of the additional tips to help you make your obsidian vault really nice and clean. So this is my personal vault. I will switch to a new vault so that I can show you from the beginning how to uh, customize your vault. I'll create an untitled folder and use it as a new vault. This is how Obsidian looks by default. We will need to install a different theme if you want to change the uh, appearance. For that, you can go to settings, uh, go to appearance, and here you have the option of themes. If you click on manage, it will display all the themes that are available. Currently, there are 229 themes. This is the default theme by Obsidian and all of these are the themes created by the Obsidian community. You can use any of these themes that you want, but the one that I find really clean, minimal, and stylish is the border theme. So I'll search for border. This is the theme that I'm talking about, border theme. I'll click on install and use. When you install this plugin, it will have this change in the uh, color of this whole board, right? If you stop using this, this is the default color, and if you use the border theme, this is what it will look like. Now, by default, this is just like the default theme, but we can make it however we want. This is the power of this border theme. We can customize it to fit our own personal needs. For that, we'll be using style settings plugin. Go to settings, come to plugins, and you will need to turn off the restricted mode to turn on come to plugins. Go to browse and source for style settings over here. Style settings plugin allows you to adjust theme, plugin, and snippet CSS variables. If you click on install, it will be installed and then you will need to enable this plugin. Enable it and if you go to options, here you have these options to configure different elements of this theme. If you go to theme info, you have this option to get presets here. One of the best thing about uh, this border theme is the presets that are available. If you go to get presets over here, this link, it will open this markdown file which will list all of the presets that are available and you can also view how it will look like currently i'm in dark mode so i'll choose one of the dark mode presets and this is the preset that i'm using the sunset preset in my personal world so i'll choose sunset and you can copy this code from here and go back to your obsidian vault click on import Paste the code here and click on save. Now, this will change the entire appearance of your vault based on that preset. So you can see how this looks right now, right? It has changed completely. This is the sidebar. This is the right pane. This is a preset for dark theme, the sunset preset. I'll go to appearance and change it to light mode. And this is what it will look like in the light mode. I will also choose a different preset for light mode. Let me go to the browser and let's choose a preset for light mode. Let's say I want this one, mint preset. I can copy this, go to obsidian, go to settings, go to style settings and import the configuration. Click on save and it will change into this. Now, this is really cool, right? You can completely change the appearance and how your obsidian feels like with the help of presets from border theme. Now you can choose any of the presets that are available over here. The, these presets are available both for light theme and dark theme and the list is extensive. So you can choose any of these presets and copy the style of these presets directly inside your world. One thing that you can do with the border theme with the help of style settings is configure each element of this setup. For example, if you go to components and here is the option for auto hide, this will show you all the options that are available to configure, such as you can hide, auto hide the tab bar, auto hide the bottom status bar, auto hide the left ribbon menu, auto hide the header icons, auto hide the tab title bar, and this will create a really uh, clean and minimal obsidian look. Menu icons will be hidden, but when you hover over those, they will display over here. So. This is a really cool way to create a minimal looking appearance. If I go to settings, you can see there are a lot of options that are available to configure, such as 
The one I really like is the outline panel, which will give you a nice outline view in the outline pane. Then the one that I really like is the cards view, which you can enable. Currently it is, I don't think this is working right now in the light theme, this one. I'll switch to dark mode, go to style settings, go to appearance, and you can enable the card layout. And this will create a card layout for the left side pane, right side pane, and the middle pane. You can also configure the individual elements in your vault with the help of the style setting plugin, such as all the elements in the editor. You can configure the colors for the text, color for paragraphs. You can also configure callouts. Currently, there are four callout types that are available in this border theme. So you can choose any of these options. You can create a different theme for code blocks which are available from here. This is really cool, right? You can customize all the elements from here, from the style settings. And border theme also supports some of the plugins such as database folder, projects, obsidian surfing, and checklist. So this is another plus point of using the border theme. You can customize the look of these four plugins as well. If you want to combine some of these presets, you can do it as well. If you go to my personal world, you will see that the cars layout is a little different, right? Uh, it has a neomorphic style. And I have created this with the help of a preset that was already there and with the help of AI. Uh, let's go to obsidian go to settings go to theme info and get presets here here you have the neomorphic style which is for light mode only right this one here neomorphism and i just copied the code for card shadow i just copied this went to the ai tool cloud and I just paste the code and asked AI to create a neomorphic style for dark mode. And it gave me the CSS code for this neomorphic style for dark mode instead of light mode. So you can just go to settings now, go to appearance, dark mode. Here you have the option to enable card layout, right? If you disable it, the card layout will disappear. And if you enable it, the card layout will appear. And you can customize the card layout from here. This is the option to customize card layout. You can put a custom border radius and here you can add custom card shadow. And if I paste the code, now you can see it has this uh, neomorphic style look for this card layout. Similarly, you can also use AI to help you customize the look and appearance of your theme by giving it some of the templates for customization. Another thing that I have in my vault is these two panes this is a local graph and this is a properties view i will show you how you can get that too first let's talk about the properties view for that you will need to go to command palette and source for properties and if you don't have the option to view file properties then you will need to go to settings go to core plugin and you will need to enable the properties view this will show the metadata for your files in sidebar enable it now go to command palette and source for file property and you have the option to view file properties this will show the file properties over here now you can just drag it down on the side pane and these properties will be visible over here to add a local graph you can go to command palette and source for local graph and this will open a new tab with the local graph then you can drag this local graph to the left side pane close this one and this will create a nice looking local graph to the left side pane and right side pane with the properties view of your nodes. If you want more obsidian tips like this, I have created a video previously on 15 obsidian tips to help you level up your workflow. You can check that video as well. So this is the current theme that I'm using and how I have customized my theme to look better. I'm using the border theme coupled with style settings plugin to customize the theme. And I'm also using these tips uh, such as adding local graph to the sidebar and properties view uh, to the side pane. One thing that I forgot to tell you is that uh, this transparent mode in your nodes will only work if you disable the stack mode. If you enable the stack tab option, the transparent mode will not work. So one thing that I forgot to tell you is that I'm using the plugin beauty tab. If you go to settings, come to plugins, and for beauty tab, this is the plugin 
updated 18 days ago with 7,000 downloads. This plugin will create a customizable new tab view with beautiful backgrounds, quotes, sorts and more. If you enable it and create a new tab after that, the new tab will look like this. Now it has an image in the background by default, but you can also disable it. I'll go to beauty tab, go to options and you can choose the background theme as transparent. Or if you want to use local images, then you can also do it by choosing the local option. You can choose transparent as well. You can choose transparent with shadows as well. Then you have these other options as well. You can choose inline source provider. And one thing that I really like about this plugin is the recent files and bookmarks feature where you will be able to quickly view the recent files and the bookmarks in the new tab. This way you don't have to go to sidebar and source for the node that you are currently working with. You can just go to new tab and it will have a list of all the nodes that you have opened recently and you can also configure it to show the bookmarks under the recent nodes right from here bookmark settings show bookmarks and you can also disable or enable codes so this is all about my obsidian theme how i have configured this obsidian look i hope you found this video useful if you found this video useful please don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel because i'll be coming with some really cool obsidian related videos in the future have a nice day see you again bye bye